Guy Joseph there. Now, the Minister for Agriculture, Moses Jabatis, has lauded the efforts of poultry farmers at ensuring gains. The minister, in his contribution to the budget debate, reported that there was an increase of 13.49% in the production of chicken, representing a 17.8% increase in revenue, or $24.4 million. That amount is up from $19 million last year. Despite these gains, St. Lucia still spent some $40 million last year in importing chicken, a staggering amount, the minister noted, for the for the purchase of non-premium parts, a situation he says must change for several reasons, including the health of citizens. Backs, necks, and so on. The key question we have to ask ourselves as a country, not as the Minister for Agriculture, not as the Minister responsible for, responsible for livestock, but as a country, the key question we have to ask is, is this what we are worth? That since 2008, we are importing more non-premium parts. We are non-premium eating people. Is, is, is this what it is? And these are the deeper issues that we have to look at. What is the quality of the food that we are eating? Is it because it's cheaper? You may be buying cheap, cheap chicken back and think you're buying cheap food, but you buy 90% bone. The little piece of meat you get, at, it's, it's probably better for you to buy a good piece of quality premium part, you get more meat, unless you just want to eat bones. So these are the questions, although they are difficult, these are the questions we have to ask ourselves. Whose interests do we have at heart? Is it the interest of a country where people are supposed to eat healthy and live longer and a good life? Or is it the interest of a people who simply want to eat anything because it's cheap? Mr. Speaker, I say to, to you, this is a question we are addressing and we are looking at very closely. Minister Jabatis also gave a progress report on the meat processing facility located in VA4. While he has been heavily criticized by his predecessor, Isakel Joseph, for not overseeing the speedy opening of the facility, Minister Jabatis informed that the delay is due to structural efficiencies that occurred under the watch of Isakel Joseph. There were quantities that that showed variations that should not have been there. There are all kinds of things. But thank God, Mr. Speaker, in 2015, on the 7th of April, sorry, on the 7th of April 2015, the keys to the meat processing facility were handed over to the Permanent Secretary of our Ministry, signaling the completion of all construction at the facility, Mr. Speaker. I'm very pleased to report that. I'm also pleased to report that on the 24th of April, a transformer was installed by Lucilec and Wasco has connected the water and we are simply awaiting, Mr. Speaker, the company that provided us with the equipment to do the test run and so on. Let it be known, Mr. Speaker, that a facility that should have cost us about 12 million will end up costing about $21 million. Let it be known, Mr. Speaker, that a lot of that cost had to do with inefficiency. It had to do with delays. It had to do with all sorts of things that the former minister has to take primary responsibility for. It had to do with documented evidence by way of letters from the former Taiwanese ambassador detailing concerns to the minister, the former minister, and former prime minister about what was happening at the meat processing facility. Mr. Speaker, so when the opposition speaks about that meat processing facility, we are, we are just completing a document, and it's going to be called St. Lucia National Meat Processing Facility Chronology of Significant Events. That document, Moses Jobati said, will be made public so that Ezekiel Joseph can explain its contents.